Hi guys, Tex back here. I'm here to review these two uh, mini cones I got from my local shop. Or store from for American friends. Um, I can't remember what they're called. I think this one's Skyquake, is it? Um, but Autobot Decepticon. So, and they are mini cones that the wheels do turn. And stuff, but there's no pegs to peg his legs in. Anyway, I've just got these little things here, sort of. But I'll get into that later. Anyway, I'll do the easiest one, which is I think it's Skyquake. If not, correct me. Because I threw the bags away. It's like a blind bag, and you get sweets and and it. But anyway. That's all it does. Um, yeah, that's all it does. And that bit moves out. But anyway, transforming, what you do is you split this part, like that, and then turn this front bit there, goes around, and then you bring, <laughs> sorry, bring the legs up. These pieces spin round this way and close it together. Fold that out. Like that. It's on the other side. And then you can see it. See it? A little fade. I can't focus in. Little face there. Moulded face. And you can sort of get him a stand, but if you pull that back, it's just going to fall over. So I think it's Skyquake, or is it Dust Cloud? I can't remember, but anyway. Here we go. I can't remember his name um, at all. But, right, transform him. What you want to do is bring his leg down and it's like a ball joint and a hinge you want to fold it like that and bring his leg around. This swing it round that form his arm and that just stays there. And you flip up the cockpit cockpit, whatever you want to call it. And there's a Moulded face, but it's more painted up than Skyquake or Dust Cloud or whatever you want to call it. Um, I can't seem to get him to stand properly because he's full of joints, but there you go. Oops, off. So you got them two. This is a difficult to stand. This basically that major motion there, you know, like the vehicle mode. It doesn't bend. Oops. It doesn't bend the legs, but it does have a swivel joint there. But like I said, it's difficult to stand. And it must be because of my table too. His basically has no range of motion, no bends in the legs. It just does that, the splits. Um, that moves, this moves, but that's it. He's just basically that. So sorry about the quality of the video, but it is my first review like this. So, very difficult to stand up. For size comparison, I just like to use a bumblebee, so is. 
Transformers Prime, Rid, Robots in Disguise, Bumblebee. There. So it's pretty small. But I have a collection, I like to collect minicons. But if you're not a fan of minicons, I wouldn't get them. Because simply they won't stand up. I usually display them in vehicle form. Oh wait, sorry. These bits flip up. Wait, wait, what's that? No. Come on, stand. Stand. No, I don't want to. No, I don't want to stand. It's difficult to stand, but he can stand. But well, there's Bumblebee. Now he doesn't want to stand. So, yeah, if you like mini cones, get them. If you're not really sure about mini cones, I wouldn't go out of my way and get them. I just saw them in my local shop. It was an impulse buy. I thought, oh, Transformers, I'll buy this what I like. But I think there are six to collect. I don't know the actual names. If you do, just correct me. But I think this is Sky Quirk and that's. No idea. But there's two blind bag minicons. I'll have to hold them up because he doesn't want to stand. Oh. And that's Tex Bark. Thanks for watching.